very briefly, first of all, well done to Venezuela Solidarity Campaign for all the work that's been done over all the years in supporting the people of Venezuela and explaining to the British public and the wider movement the importance of understanding what's happened and continues to happen in Venezuela without having an effective solidarity campaign and all the support that's been received from unions and so many other people, this message would not have got through in the same way and so I want to say a big well done to all those that have worked so hard in VSC over all the years. It's made a very big difference. Now, <laughs> the side, and I absolutely support everything that Colin has said, uh, an absolute legend in every way and his memory will be that he was the one, more than anyone else, who effectively ended the Monroe Doctrine of the USA treating Latin America as its own backyard. He's asserted the independence of Latin America by a combination of political leadership and use of resources for the good of the people rather than the profits of the oil companies up north or in, or in Switzerland or somewhere else. And I think that will be forever his memory of empowering the, <coughs> empowering the, the poorest people to have their place in the sun and their chance. Now, <clears throat> in order to prepare for this um, meeting, and I'm going to finish on this point, uh, if I want to know what's going on in British politics, you either wake yourself up in the morning, get very angry by listening to the Radio 4 Today program, and start throwing the radio around the room, <laughs> which doesn't do me any good, all the radio, that's all the room even. Um, or you really wind yourself up, you buy the Daily Mail. <laughs> oh, this, is real, this is real wind up time. And you read it and you think the opposite. <laughs> and that, and that way you see what's going on. And so last night I checked in with um, the musings of Jaime Darenbaum, a former US ambassador to Venezuela, who is obsessed beyond belief with Chavez, even beyond the grave. Um, and the Hudson Institute, which has a rather strange view of uh, what a dictatorship amounts to and what democracy amounts to. And then you think the opposite. And you see absolutely what Colin said, the huge resources that were put into this election. This election is as seminal in a good way as the election in 1948 in Italy was seminal in a bad way when the US put its sixth fleet uh, alongside the coast of Italy and advised the people of Italy that it was in their interests uh, not to vote for the left alliance but to vote for the Christian Democrats. It's as seminal in that sense what has happened because the people of Venezuela have asserted, albeit by a small majority, that they want the progress of uh, redistribution of wealth, of empowering the poorest people, of ensuring that everyone gets health care, gets education, gets housing, gets access to culture and arts, and has a real place in the future, rather than a return to the elitism of the past. Our job is to understand that and express solidarity with the people of Venezuela and support them in whatever requests they make to us. Later this year, on September the 11th, we'll be commemorating the 40th anniversary of that dreadful day in Chile when Salvador Allende was killed. I refuse to accept this idea that he somehow or other committed suicide and ran away. As far as I'm concerned, he was murdered by Pinochet and the military that, that uh, was in the time. And so, when we commemorate the coup in Chile and Allende's death, we also salute Chavez and the people of Venezuela for turning the clock of history full circle to ensure that uh, the Alba Pact works, that that leadership works, and I look forward to the development of Venezuela, the efficiency of Venezuela in providing good services and decency for all the people of that country. Our solidarity is important, and the best form of solidarity is learning from it. There is an alternative to austerity and cuts and enriching the richest and impoverishing the poorest. It's called socialism, and it's called social justice. Thank you very much.